hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to oguta lake so i want to carry you guys along we're going to explore oguta lake together if you live in imo state Obe, you must have heard of this oguta lake like all the fun stuff and blah 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 so i've heard a lot about it and i decided to explore it today it's on the morning and it's very bright of course i went to church so i'm going to carry you guys along we'll look at oguta lake and see what it looks like i'm going to take a road trip of course and i will take you along with me so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do where to subscribe now click on the notification bell to get notified each time i post an amazing video and click the like button when you watch this video because of course you're going to love it so if you're going from over either with public transport or your private car you would have to go from control you enter a bus that is going to onicha and tell them you're stopping at oguta junction so if you're going with the private car you're stopping at oguta junction from control i entered and i stopped at oguta junction it's like one hour journey then when we got to oguta junction this is what it looks like that's what the junction looks like you would have to cross the road by the side and you either enter a bike down to the lake if you cross the road just opposite you will see bikes that are going to the lake direct they will take you from mbidi down to oguta and this is how the lake looks like you show me off, it's alright You can't afford to live without me Why are you afraid to say goodbye? I know you're so when you get to the lake it has about three entrance this is the middle entrance it has a police station an old police station beside it and you see a lot of bike men and their bikes waiting for whoever is going back to the junction so they would drop them off if you're wondering how much we spent coming here um i spent about 2500 from over then i saw a lot of canoe boat and all that this particular one is called a pontu that's how they called it pontu i entered it it carries vehicles loads and everything like people that want to cross from the other end of the lake to the other one they enter a pontu and it conveys their goods and their vehicles to the other one which is very very interesting it's not so fast it's quite slow and it has an engine and a four pump then they sell a lot of things inside this pond too like sell snacks suya and all those stuff so i was just standing and probably waiting these are they started they actually go to warm the pond too like warm the engine of the pond too before they would start the pond too itself and it was just moving slowly but slow and steady it got to the other end of the lake this experience was quite fun and i loved every bit of it finally we are here i so love the view like the water is, is too much it's everywhere and i'm inside on two but yeah So when we got to the other end of the lake, I had to come down from the pontoon just like every other person, the bike people, the vehicles, human beings, goods and everything came down from the same pontoon. There are a lot of them in this lake. They have about, I think I saw about four of them, but I entered only one. They had to convey same vehicle, same thing at, at the same time. This one was just moving, so I didn't meet up with this one. I had to enter the other one, but the sight of it was just beautiful. It was actually raining this particular day, and we just had to explore despite the rain. So this is how people actually come down from the pontoon. Like they will just bring down, it's as if there's a gate. They will bring down while everybody walks down. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. What is the experience? Can you, can you tell me your experience? It was fun. It was normal. Are yeah, you expecting it to be like that? Mm, I was just scared being on the water shaft. So okay. I didn't really feel it much. So we are, what were you anticipating when you entered the pontoon? So what I'm was your mind telling you? At how you feel? I felt relaxed. I felt relaxed because I saw that. Okay. There were a lot of persons there, so maybe something was going to happen. I was going to do. Oh, you are using other people to have courage. Yes, yes. Ah, I wouldn't wow. have if I was there. Just like they saying that death of many people don't fear, right? Uh, 
Oh, really? So this vehicle is coming out now? Okay, this Kam Gongola is coming out. That I say no flow for vehicle, so this Kam Gongola is coming out. Ah, let's go into the flying boat. Yeah. Yeah, put this on now. Put your life jacket on. The most exciting thing we entered was a boat. A speed boat. I'll call this one local speed boat because it was like constructed with wood and all those rubber stuff. But then it was fun. Like this was really really fun. We paid um, one thousand naira to use this particular one. It's like drop. It's dropping you from the other end of the lake to the other end as well. <laughs> Chacha, what is the color of that your life jacket? Is it is it yellow? Okay, it's orange. Orange is very good on you. Yeah. So when we got to Jeddah end, I had to pay the canoe man, they call them pilots, but yeah, they are piloting the canoes, right? So coming down from this place was quite uh, interesting because I couldn't come down myself. I was thinking it's something I would just jump out to get, but I had to wait for the man to move the canoe to like a particular direction where something will hold it before I will climb down. <laughs> It was like a very funny sight but then i enjoyed every bit of it so this was the second thing we tried like after the pontu we entered um a canoe speedboat that brought us backwards the pontu took us to the other end why the speedboat brought us back and the pontu uh, we spent 200 naira entering the pontu if you want to enter the pontu you have to pay a particular fee for each of them actually because that's how they make money i mean so let's go back to the beach part of the yeah, lake. The water. I just hope it's safe, yeah? Jesus. <laughs> Yay! I just touched the water. <laughs> I feel like I should put this in my CV, in my record self. Feels like a big achievement. Did I tell you that the first 30 minutes we spent there, it was just raining, like it was raining throughout. I felt like very comfortable even while it was still raining because I mean, I love rain and because we are coming to the lake, we are not going to like a supermarket or something. So even if my body is wet, I still didn't like mind. Hello, Africa. So, I don't know why rain is just disturbing, yeah, rain is just disturbing, it's been drizzling since we came here, I really wish I can like get um, a better view, but that would be when it stops raining. So the next interesting part of this journey is this women that um, actually bring out fishes from the lake, there are a lot of them, like a lot of species and different fishes that they bring up from this lake and they were so happy and glad to like show us the different types how they clean it how they do this and how they do that it was really like a very interesting sight seeing the different types of fishes and getting to watch some of them they are all dead but yeah but they're looking very fine see this one see there is fish inside that place go put it see this one go put that one that one is good i'm coming It's very clean. <laughs> Is alive. Oh, he's he's, 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 he's
Yes. Are you serious? Have you taken it? Yes. If you now, if you now, this one on that time. This one on that time. What do you call it in your local language? Which one? Ubu Abi. Yes. Ubu. Oh, you don't have it. This week. Yes. Everybody gets it wrong. Ubu, Ubu Abi. I. Wow. This is. No. Yes. Come and take this one. Alcohol. This one at the highest pitch of the river. Are you serious? Why is it the highest pitch of the river? Asa. Up there, show. Up there, up the highest pitch. I'll give you the highest pitch. It's more beautiful than this. Why? Okay. <laughs> this one. This one. It's dead, ba? Yeah. Very colorful. Oh, this one. This one. This one get big one. But it's this one is taller than this other one. They are not. They are not the same. Oh, look on the key ways as this one. No. This one is as. Wow. Why is it called as? Oh, oh, the the yeah. Sit it now. Is it the highest in quantity or no, the water? Is. Okay, the highest in the water. Yes. A number. Yes. 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 They grow up to this stage. Yes. Wow. Oh, yeah, no. Magic. Oh, yeah. So you can eat it. Oh, yeah, that's not. Don't put it in. I didn't show you. I'm not eating. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, ye
so i actually met this woman when i entered the pod too she was so excited i was making videos she said oh please capture me let me appear in your video she was just posing and it was quite fun and we saw a fisherman that was like looking for fishes he was yet to cast his net into the lake anyway but he was quite friendly and he said hello and that was just is this karma or are you getting what you want again i guess i'm finding it hard to believe in something i couldn't see coming you show me off it's all right you can't afford to live without me So they have this side of the lake that they use as beach and some girls just come there to have fun so maybe even came to film videos and like film christian songs he was quite interesting anyway and this is me trying to like make some tiktok videos which ended up not working out because i was looking very funny but i had a lot of fun like here the beach aspect felt different from the other aspect more like they demarcated it and it was worth it anyway i'm hungry anyway but uh, this view is giving so because i got so hungry we had to like locate where we get something to eat we had to get to the suya spot and we met this a very a friendly suya man that was selling suya and we bought i think 1500 out of suya i almost ate half of it anyway and the man was just nice he said he had spent 29 years in the lake he was there and they built some of the things there in the lake and he was selling it's very yummy and nice so yeah so if you're going to this lake you might need to consider buying from this abuki i think he's the only person that sells suya at the lake. competition for him so Look at this one is just nice, more sweet. sweet. He gave me the video, so you finish the sea, right? <laughs> no. I understand your school. Well, it looks like that's what is happening. Yeah. Uh, that's your, that your plan. I understand it now. So now, don't go see What are you getting? What's your name? No, no, see how different. This is my leg and Gala Beach. Don't worry. Gala Beach, yeah. What do you call it? Okay, this is like Gala Beach. Yes, Gala. Okay, Gala. Mm. Gala Beach, yeah. Oh, good, Alex. Nice one. Come on, eat, yeah. Guys, okay, so I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you've watched this one, thank you so very much. I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. See you guys in my next video. You show me off. It's all. Say